Nvidia decides to have what is the dumbest embargo I've ever seen. Google has the dumbest phone situation I've seen in quite some time, and the dumbest cooler is here again. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your bright host. We're gonna be going over the hottest tech news I can find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast this Tuesday, June 27, 2023. For everybody who's asking, my yes, my son is still in the hospital. I got the chance to run home to pick up a few supplies, and then I'm gonna be heading back to the hospital directly after filming this episode of Hot News. So buckle in for a quick one, because I gotta get this done. And it's apparently what NVIDIA needed to do with the RTX 4060. They wanted to make sure that there were some benchmarks out for the RTX 4060, but not all of them for some reason. This is one of the strangest embargoes we've ever seen. Typically, the cadence of a GPU launch is the company announces it. It's real. Then they might do something like an unboxing embargo where you're allowed to show off the sexy little thing you have, but you're not allowed to test it at all. And then eventually you get to release the performance numbers. Turns out for this, they decided, hey, you can test cyberpunk only cyberpunk you show anything else you're cut off from our communications team forever cyberpunk or nothing which is very strange you can see from jay's two cents video that it does perform admirably compared to the rtx 3060 it also is kind of like halfway between the 3060 and the 3060 ti it's not like a great upgrade but it is technically cheaper than the 3060 so that helps jay's two cents went off script by overclocking it in case you care about that you could also check out daniel owens video on this he's a great YouTuber, honestly, I don't think he gets enough recognition. Is he even going to LTX? That's the, I need to answer that question. He's not on the list for LTX. Either that's an oversight by Linus that needs to be corrected immediately, or he refused, in which case I wish him all the best for that. And I wish you all the best for when you're buying graphics cards or PCs or whatever you want, because you don't have to wait for the 4060 launch that's happening later this week to get all the parts that you desire, because you could do that over on today's video sponsor, Jawa, which is the marketplace for gamers by gamers, where gamers buy, build, and sell. Whether it's some parts that you need to sell in order to justify this upgrade that you're gonna be making this coming week, or potentially need to get rid of some dead weight that you had lying around for the last little bit. You want to trade up from that 1080 Ti, you could potentially sell that over to Jawa themselves, or in case you want them to spec out a build for you, you can participate in their commissions build program where they'll match you up with a verified seller based on what games you want to play, what aesthetic choice you like, and the FPS you're trying to hit on your budget, and then they'll make a PC for you because the verified sellers over on Jawa have been vetted by the company to be people that you can trust with your money to give you the good stuff. And you can discuss it over on their Discord channel, which is over 10,000 people strong right now. My talking points say 8,000, but they've significantly grown in the last little bit because more and more people are finding out about Jawa and it's a necessary good in the marketplace of PC sellers, flippers, gamers, buying, building, selling, all of that good stuff. So check out Jawa at the link in the video description. Big thanks to them for sponsoring today's episode of Hot News. And you gotta wonder, did Sony sponsor Microsoft's deposition in this Activision Blizzard trial that's going on right now because in it, they revealed the fact that the Project Q handheld that got shown off by Sony recently, allegedly, they're hyping them up, is a $300 portable PlayStation 5. That's according to official Microsoft communication in a court of law, which as far as everything Sony's communicated, that's, it's not that at all. It's a wireless remote device with a screen. It doesn't have the PlayStation SoC or nothing like that, but Microsoft seems to think that it's a handheld version of the PS5. Either they know something we don't and Sony's not publicly communicating, in which case I'm on board. I will buy a $300 version of the PlayStation 5 that's handheld or, or they're, they don't know what they're talking about or they're trying to sell it as being better than it actually is in order to make it look like they're the people who need to get the money for the thing that they want to try to buy. It couldn't be the latter because Microsoft would never lie. Microsoft, they would never be untruthful and neither would Google. Hey, their Pixel Fold that they're releasing, totally fine, no problems whatsoever, except for if you look at reviewers like over on Ars Technica, their Pixel Fold died after four days. Reese, how many days? That's more than three. There's more than three days, and it turns out that it's the same reason why the Samsung foldable devices previously died, and that's there's crap that gets under the screen, and part of this is because there's a gap between the plastic layer that's supposed to protect the OLED and the actual actual exposed OLED itself, and as soon as something dirty touched the exposed OLED next to the bezel, it killed the phone. Of course this is going to happen. Then you have on top of the fact that uh, people don't seem to necessarily vibe with Google Pixel's customer service when they get phones from them, and this might stand to be a very disastrous launch for them if they can't get this fixed before they start selling them 
later next month? Is it in July? That I, I thought they were already supposed to come out. Oh, it's today. It comes out today. Oh boy, don't buy it unless they address this. And I'm gonna address Reese again. Hey, you wanna do some deals now, bud? I got some deals. He's got them. Yo, welcome back to UFD Deals, bringing the hottest tech deals out on the internet. And starting off today, we have the Razer Huntsman Mini, 60% wired optical gaming keyboard, going for only $79.99, making it $40 off. But then next up, we have the Rosewell FBM X2400 Helix Micro ATX case with a 400 watt power supply. This little combo is going for only $42.49, making it $67.50 off, and the perfect little thing for a nice little media PC that you put next to your TV. And then last but not least, we have the Crucial T. 700. This Gen 5 NVMe M.2 SSD featuring speeds of up to 11,700 megabytes a second is currently going for only $134.99 for the one terabyte version, making it $45 off. And with that, the deals are done. You can find these and more linked in the video description down below. But until next time, I'm gonna hand you off back to Brett for the rest of your hot news. Cheers. Thanks, Reese. Good deals. Bad deal in case you're in Canada for many different reasons, but also the fact that Netflix is getting rid of its basic plan for you without any ads. They want to give you all of the ads. So they're just dropping the one where you pay to just watch on a 1080p screen and have a couple people using it. They're replacing that with the basic with ads tier because they, for some reason, think that they probably can make more money off of the ads. This might be a trial run for what they're going to be doing in the rest of the world, but currently it stands like it's only happening in Canada at the current moment. And what's happening at the current moment, I just, I don't understand this dystopian wasteland of meta trying to make the Quest cool, but the Quest Plus subscription program is here. It's kind of like PlayStation Plus or Xbox Game Pass, and you pay about the same amount as PlayStation Plus, and you pay about you know, half the amount as Xbox Ultimate or whatever the heck that Game Pass is called. Uh, and they give you two games a month and you can pay $60 a year in case you want to. And you get two VR games. I just, I don't know if this is a good thing or a good deal. You don't get to choose the titles. It's just the two that they have free for the month. Kyler, are you gonna use this? No. What, you don't want two free MetaQuest games? I only need like one. You, yeah, you need Beat Saber and that's it, right? Yeah. Yeah, or bone, bone, lab, bone Saw Labs. Bone Saw is ready. And it looks like NVIDIA's been to the Bone Saw Lab, if that's a thing. It's probably not, because they've been cooking up this quad slot RTX cooler that we've been seeing floating across the internet in pictures and leaked renders. And it turns out that they are just, they're being made. You can buy them on Goofish. You can get them in many different places. And you can see this behemoth of a graphics card is being displayed, the quad slot prototype being pictured right here. There's a lot that's weird about this thing, namely the fact that it has a vertically stacked IO setup. Additionally, that the power cable is in a completely wrong place compared to where the PCB would connect to the motherboard. That's all weird. But then on top of that, in other pictures that I don't have featured here, the actual shroud says RTX 4090. So instead of it potentially being for a future card, it could have been what Nvidia tried to get released with the RTX 4090. And then they realized that they can kind of scale it down to a triple slot setup, but it could also potentially be that this will be a 4090 Ti. It might be the Titan RTX that we're potentially expecting to come out sometime soon within the next few months, about a year from the launch of the RTX 4090. I can't believe we're that close. Like we're, oh my goodness. It's been nine months. It's been nine months. Let me know if this thing would fit in your case if it released this quad slot founders edition behemoth of a GPU. I wanna hear from you down below in the comments. I also wanna hear why Daniel Owen's not going to LTX. Find out for me, please. I'll send you guys out on the internet. I gotta go back to the hospital. I'll see you guys in the next thing that we do, a hot news or something else that's going on. Cheers.